I always had a spoon in my pocket, you know, and the spoon that was in my pocket on the streets was for cooking, for cooking heroin, and now I have a spoon in my pocket to base fish. I mean, you know, that's real. My past affects everything about me and what I do. I never forget. You know, ultimately when the drugs went bye-bye, um, it had to be replaced by something. I have a recipe, quote unquote, that I try to live in, and that's an equal part of doing things for others, being with my family, working. You cannot be afraid to work every day, all day, all night, seven days a week, 365 days a year for your business. If that's even a question in your mind, if you think about vacations, think about needing a day off, if you look at a clock, don't start your own business. Make sure that you have a clear vision of what you're trying to do. It's very easy to get caught up in, you know, I have a product, I want to sell it. Okay, that's great. That sounds like a hobby. You know, is it a business? My past definitely influences my management style. I guess my biggest thing is just offering a helping hand and like being there as a support and saying, hey, if you want to go to an A meeting, like, I'll take you. We always feel like we're special. We always feel like we're different. I always felt like I, I, nobody could relate to me. And then when I went to a meeting and I heard someone tell their story, and I'm like, that's my story. You know, when the, when the student's ready, the teacher appears, right? Hey YouTubers, are you looking to land your dream gig or start your own business? Well, you found the right place. You can learn from fellow entrepreneurs and peers that are embarking on their own journeys. Subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to join CNBC on the journey to make it. We're going to motivate and inspire you, but you'll have to bring the fire.